Modern Defense, Standard, Two Knights, Subtle's Variation. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had a nice end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Game's master. It is the final book action. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. Although the game was nearly tied, black is now in a losing position. It is incorrect. This allows the opponent to unpin a bishop, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to unpin a bishop, allowing it to provide defense. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This leads to losing material. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This pins a bishop to the king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. 
This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This misses a better way to move a queen to safety. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This ignores a better way to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is ideal. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This misses the chance to claim a free pawn. It falls flat. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. This forks multiple pieces. It is a great move. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This permits the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. That's good. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This results in a pawn being lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to seize a free pawn. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. 
This puts a rook behind a passed pawn, helping escort it to promotion. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This creates a threat to win a knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This evades the check from the knight. It is forced. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. This makes it impossible for the adversary to advance a passed pawn. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had a nice end game. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had a nice end game. 